Hey guys, welcome back to the Funky Little Studio. This is haul number two that I'm re recording today, but we're gonna go back 24 hours uh, to a road trip that Tom and I took on a whim, kind of, just like we needed to get out of the house kind of thing. We've been, um, we've been home and we've been dealing with stuff, just life stuff, and it was like, you know what, let's, like we both needed just a day out of the house away from um, working, although this was work we were sourcing. Um, but we have been wanting to try a barbecue restaurant that's about uh, a little over an hour away from our home, right in between Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And it's one of these raved about places that like the line's out the door. You might have to wait an hour, hour and a half to um, order your food and uh, we've talked about, you know, going there for a long time and we decided we were going to go. So this was yesterday. Um, we got ready in the morning and um, got to, it's called Butcher's Barbecue Stand, I believe. Anyway, so you, I don't know if that'll be a whole other video or if we're attaching this haul to that video, but um, it's kind of a vlog of our day, that other video, and this will be the haul from the four places that we stopped um, and thrifted. So several months ago, I was in Oklahoma City and I came across a thrift store just by looking on Google Maps basically to search nearby, um, thrift stores nearby, and I found this place that I was just down the street from. And actually I thought this is, the prices were great. I never knew this place existed. And when I went up to pay, they asked me if I had one of their discount cards. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't. What is that? And I could purchase one for $5. And it gave me 15, one five, 15% off um, my purchases anytime, right? So anytime I went in, I could get at least 15% off. And not only at that location, but there were three other thrift stores that were associated with this um, discount card. So I, of course, was like, yes, hand it over, right? So um, I've been wanting to take Tom to this thrift store, and um, I've been to three of the four. So we went yesterday, and we hit all four of them. So Tom will have a thrift haul for the things that he, that he found, and this is the stuff that I found. So this might be um, a little bit longer of a haul video. My The last stop was definitely, I think, the best stop, but I did find some good stuff at the other places, and I really tried to be very choosy about the things that I was picking up. So without further, further, without further ado, let me show you the things that I got. Uh, so again, this was the very first thrift store that we stopped at, and um, I saw these boots and I uh, the first thing I thought was are they fry boots so I went to um, pick them up check them out they are not fry boots these are like brand spanking new but these are Harley Davidson so you can see here and also on the back these are like almost like a um, not distressed but kind of distressed looking they are adorable adorable and they happen to be my size so, and I did try these on, um, and I paid $19.98 for these. And let me know, would you, have, would you have picked these up? I know that they will sell, um, but they may not because they might be in my closet. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, all right. Next up, I've never found this brand, but when I saw it, I was like, I know I've heard of this before. Um, this is Amanda Upper Shard, and it's made in America, dry clean only. It's 100% silk. Um, but I was like, I know I've heard of this brand, but it was an extra small. So I was like, let me just look this up. And of course, her things sell for hundreds of dollars. Um, so I paid $1.48 for this dress. And then I got 15% off of that. So let me know if that's a good thing. I mean, it's just a simple, simple little dress, silk dress. Um, and it is extra small, but yeah, I was like, I will take it. 
for a dollar forty-eight, yes, I will take it. Okay, and then this shirt, um, I will put in my uh, boho rodeo whatnot live selling show, and it's just on the tool text medium tag, but um, it's a it's a Johnny Cash shirt. It's California Department of Corrections presents Johnny Cash. And, you know, the date on it, 1960, when he played at Folsom Prison. Obviously, this is a remake, uh, but so cute for uh, the Boho Rodeo. And I paid $2.98 for this. Uh, they also had a color that was half price. So, and Actually, I think it was blue. I think their blue tags were half price. So, and then this also was 15% off. This dress I picked up because I thought it was adorable. It's day in, day out, 100% cotton, made in Nepal, and it is a size small, but very cute little house dress. I paid $3.98 for this, and I love selling house dresses um, on my whatnot show, but how sweet is this? Just cute as can be. The back of it here with the floral it is like a cream color almost like a yellow yeah probably more yellow with the pink down at the bottom uh, i loved it all the gathers on the back <laughs> my husband is crazy he's crazy he's maxing and relaxing out in the swimming pool so he keeps coming <laughs> he keeps coming to the door to see what i'm doing okay this was probably my Funnest find. This is the kind of stuff I love to find. Um, does it even have a tag on it? Let's see. I don't think I found a tag on it at the store. I don't think it does, but it's all elastic. I don't know if it's just handmade. It's like the broom skirt. I paid $3.98 for it, but it has this cowboy scene on it. Like, rodeo buck and bronc scene on it it's so good so cute and let me see it's a maxi skirt so uh definitely full length it comes like you know to the top of my foot and uh so cute that'll be in the whatnot show um okay i I saw this, I always look in the um, lingerie section because you never know what you're gonna find. A lot of times they put dresses there that are actually dresses and not like nightgowns. Um, but this is an old tag, intimately free people tag. It was $1.98 and see that tag. And this is just a little um, like, semi-sheer lightweight tank top dress with this um, cute lace at the bottom. So this again is one of those tops that you could definitely wear and then put your like t-shirt over it and just have this hanging out at the bottom. So cute. Um, so I will sell that on my whatnot show. And then I found this leather belt I should put this on and this was a dollar 98 it is genuine leather let's see genuine leather small medium i paid a dollar 98 for it but here's the um little what am i trying to say buckle i guess and then just a braided belt let's see see if i can fit it around my body I can definitely fit it around my waist. I'm not going to go around my hips, really, but very cute, very cute. So um, I get asked a lot for belts, and I see people in other shows ask for belts. So anytime I can find a belt at a good price that I feel like is that Western or boho style, I will pick it up. And um, so that is it for the first stop. And had I not bought the Harley boots, I would have been at about um, $18. Well, $18, the Harley boots were 20. 
Um, so with tax and everything, I wound up spending like $34. Yeah, $34 and 90 cents there. So um, if I do sell the Harley boots, I know I will make that back um, probably times three, I'm guessing. Um, okay, so second stop was just about two miles away from the first one. And this is the store I had never been to before. Um, so number two of the four that we could, hold on, I'm having an avalanche, that we could stop at, at or shop at and get the discount. So let me show you what I found there. First thing I found was this skirt. Um, Full, I think is the brand, but this is one of those. It's 100% cotton, made in India, and uh, let me show you the let me show you the tag here. But so pretty, this tiered um, skirt with this the beautiful colors, right? You've got the turquoise and the brown, and then it's got little sequins all. Um, around here and also down here on this on that ruffle so a tiered skirt it is a uh, midi so it does come like in between my knee and my ankle they were asking 398 for this and I want to say that blue also was half price um, at this stop okay these adorable. Do they have a tag in them? So just 100% acrylic. They are made in India. Anytime I find harem pants, I grab them because people love them. And look at the print on these harem pants. So, so cute. They have pockets. And then look, they've got the elastic down here. And then it looks like a skirt. These look like a skirt usually when you find them, but they are harem pants. And I don't even see a size on here. So I'll need to try these on just to give them an idea. It does have a dr working drawstring. Um, and these were $3.98. So, and they're, they're thick. These are like wintry. They almost feel like wool, but they're not. They're acrylic. Uh, but yeah, heavy. Those will go in my whatnot show. Next up, I found these Pilcro and the letter Pilcro and the letterpress. Um, these are a size 27. They are the slim boyfriend. I typically steer away from. I typically steer away from uh, like the tapered leg, the straight leg jeans. I don't buy. I do not pick those up anymore. Um, and I have a bunch of them still in my Poshmark closet, like made well and things, but these are actually more of a straight leg. They don't really taper, but the bottom of them are so cute. Look how cute. They got the little um, tassels and then this uh, like gem the gems, the beads. I don't know. I just thought they were so cute. And yeah, they come like uh, right above, they're cropped basically. You can't really see that, but they are cropped. Um, and the pockets, they're just, I don't know, they have some distressing. I think they're adorable. So, and they're not like extremely straight or slim. Uh, so I think those will do well. And then I grabbed this skirt. Um, it was orange was 50%. No, not at this store. This store, it was blue. Okay. You'd think they all would have the same, but no, they don't. Um, but anyway, this, this is crazy. This is a Chico skirt and they were asking $3.98 for it. And obviously no one wanted it for $3.98. So they marked it down to $1.98. And I have looked this thing over and over and over, like what is wrong with this skirt? And I, nothing that I can see, honest to God. And it's new without tag. A size one, so I believe that is a medium um, in Chico's. So I say new without tag because you can see the tag here and then it still has the little um, 
thing here where the price tag was and the Chico's. But this is, it's got a zipper um, on the side, zipper and button, and it is a maxi skirt. It's a great, I don't even know, it's fully lined. And let me see, it feels like maybe rayon. Let's look, see if we can see what it is. I think it's rayon, but I don't know. Um, it is made in India, viscose. <laughs> it is viscose. And the lining is modal. I was almost like, is it silk? But no, it is viscose and modal. So super soft. This will get um, listed. I will list this on um, my like Poshmark and eBay. Uh, and I have no idea what I will list that for. I'll have to look that up. Um, this was really cute. Villa, I know if you've guys seen my videos before, I pick up Villa. Not all of it, but most of it when I see it. It's very boho, um, made in India, and this is a size large. I paid $5.98 for this. I actually hoo-hawed around about whether I should pick this up or not. Let me know if you would have grabbed it for the boho rodeo show, but um, it is like that handkerchief style. Looks like a bandana, and um, it is a romper. So I get requests for rompers, and then I feel like I pick them up, and then I still have a couple that haven't sold. So anyway, here's the back of it. Very cute. We'll see. That'll go um, on whatnot. And then I think, yeah, this one, this is the last one from the second store. This is um, the brand Steve Kende, I don't know, Kende. It was $4.98. Here's the tag. It's like cut off. But very Johnny Was, right? Very Johnny Was-esque. I love the color of this. And this is all embroidered. All embroidered little mini dress. It comes right above my knee. I need to try this on. I need to try a couple of these things on. Um, I haven't pulled this stuff out of the bag yet. I wanted to do this video. Um, do I have a receipt in that bag? Hold on. Let me see. Yes. So second store, I spent $27.73. $27.73. need to put this over here so I don't lose it. Okay. Third stop. Third stop. I found some good stuff. See if I can put it here without it tipping over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. All right, this first dress I picked up, I picked this up based on style. Um, it does not have a brand tag in it, but I did look up the RN number and it was unlimited, I think is what it said. Not the limited, but unlimited. The reason I picked this dress up is because it reminds me of one that I found by UMG. I don't know if you guys have seen it, if I've worn it in a video or not, but I had this dress in my whatnot show, not this dress, but the UMG dress in my whatnot show, a, a couple shows. I ran the dress, I showed it, no one wanted it. So I tried it on one day and it is the most comfortable, cutest dress. Um, and so I kept it. I was like, this is adorable, and um, I've gotten, when I, I actually wore it on a whatnot show, and I had so many people ask me if I would sell it, <laughs> uh, but I won't because it's just too cute and cozy, and like, you can throw it on and make it look super casual, or you can also look like super put together, and anyway, so this reminded me of that dress. It's not exact, but... Um, it has this pr these pretty sleeves, that scoop neck, and then the back of it has this little crisscross, and it has the tie here that you can cinch here, so kind of the empire waist on it, and yeah, so I did pick this up. What did I pay for this? I already, I already told you this. 
What did I pay for this dress? $6.98. Okay, I did pay $6.98 um, for this dress, but I think I can easily um, make a profit on that dress. Okay, next thing, this again was at the third store that we stopped at. And at this store, they had zero colors that were on sale. Zero colors. And it was actually the same like name, Community Thrift, I think, of the one, the other one we went to. So who knows what the, um, who knows. But this is Um G. And again, it's got that Johnny Was look about it all embroidered and what size is this i think it's a small maybe a medium it's a medium yeah and i paid 6.98 for it i almost didn't get this because i already had the other one i asked tom i was like what do you think he said yes get it so it does have pockets i need to try it on just to give my honest opinion about um how it fits so Next up, this is Zara. This is Zara, also six ninety eight. dollars uh, But patchwork, I love. If I can find cute patchwork, I will pick it up. It's got the little belt that goes with it, so you can cinch it in the back. Honestly, this feels cheap. I will say that. Um, I think this was a medium. Let me see. Yeah, a U.S. medium. And this has got to be polyester. It's got to be. Oh my God, I hate these tags, Zara tags. Let's see. It's like reading a novel. Um, what page would this be on? And then it's in like all the different languages. It's cotton. Holy moly, it's 100% cotton. Okay. I would have never guessed that. Honest to God, I would have never guessed that. So maybe after you wash it, this just feels stiff almost. But okay, 100% cotton. These cute little, almost like a balloon sleeve going on. And again, here's the back of it with the tie on it. And let's see. Yeah, right above my knee. Very cute. So $6.98. I, I know I can make my money back on that. I'm just that's funny. I swear I would have bet my life that that was like polyester or something. I definitely want to try this on because I'm interested in keeping it. <laughs> the brand on it is, uh, what is the brand on it? The brand on it is Kim and Thread. Kim, H-E-M and Thread. It's a large. Uh, colors on it are really cute and it is a wide leg little jumpsuit and it is strapless and it's like crop. It comes right above my ankle and then it does have just the tie here. This is not a working drawstring, just the tie with the little tassels and very cute. So you know what drives me so, so crazy is that all this stuff at the thrift store is like pressed and looks so nice and then it gets wadded up and thrown in a bag and then, of course, we bring it home and we have to um, steam it, wash it, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, I'm like, what a waste. It looked so nice before it was wadded up and put in this bag. All right, this little romper, I paid, I think, $1.98. Yeah, you can't even read that. $1.98. Oh, my God, I've got to get my contacts. Uh I just need to order contacts. That's all. I just need to order them. I actually ordered them and they didn't get my script. I don't know. They had to call the doctor's office and it took several weeks. So then they canceled. They got my script, but they canceled my order. So they're like, you're going to need to reorder. And I just haven't gone on and done it. Why? I don't know. Um, because glasses on and off the head are annoying. Okay. $1.98. The brand is Corey. I have um, sold this brand before. The tag but I thought this was precious and it's just a little off the shoulder romper with working drawstring I think yeah working drawstring got the little tassels I don't know I thought it was pretty so I grabbed it for $1.98 and then this last shirt they had it tied um the brand on it I think it's called gimmicks 
and it's a small it has that look of free people um i paid a dollar 98 for it but it does have the little like puff sleeve kind of drop shoulder and then the front of it is all lace they had it tied like this in the front and honest as in like just tied right here in the center but honestly i think this is a wrap shirt so I think it goes around and this goes around, <laughs> you know, like that. Anyway, uh, but I thought it was really pretty. For $1.98, I grabbed it. That's it for stop number three. So if you're still with me, we got one more stop and it's the biggest. It's not, I mean, it's not a million things, but um, there is quite a few pieces. But I think this was probably the best stop. Um, for me, and also I think it was the best stop for Tom. So let me grab, this is my receipt from the third place. They're flying on the floor. This is the first place. It's the first place. Nope. Yeah, 33.27. 33.27 is what I spent at the third stop. 33.27. So... Let's see, stop one and stop two and three, 33, that's 50. So right now I'm at like $85 for everything. Um, and then the last stop, I want to say I spent 51, but the receipts in this bag, probably at the bottom, I'll grab it um, and let you know. So I think that's pretty, uh, pretty good for what I got. Okay. Stop number four, I was actually like uh, about to leave as in I'd gone through my cart and um, kind of was weeding through, but I was still in an aisle and I just saw this colorful thing sticking out. And the aisles that I was, that I was standing in was the shirts. Um, and I saw this and I looked at it and I was like, wait a second, that is not a shirt. That is a skirt and I love it and I might keep it. <laughs> Um, it's so cute. We'll see though. Um, it is, it does have, um, a working drawstring in it. I don't know. I think it had elastic in it and I think the elastic is shot. So, which is fine because you can still use the drawstring and tie it. Right. So this basically will fit any size. Um, and I think that's why someone put it back because the elastic was out of it. But I also have a lot of people, my gosh, how cute is this? How cute is this? So, so, so cute. Um, and I do have a lot of people in my shows that know how to sew or um, can fix things. I've, I have ran things before that have a tear or something on, on the seam. And they're like, hey, that's an easy fix. I'll take it. So I was excited about that. What is this? Some stuff I'm like, what? oh, this was a great find. This was a great find. Oh, also at the fourth store, um, they had three tags on sale. They had blue, yellow, blue and yellow were 75% off and orange was 50% off. Okay. So this is not any of those, um, but I paid $3.98 for this. It is a size, one size, and it is anthropology. Anthropology, and it is a kimono. I mean, how, what? Okay, and keep in mind, you guys, I got 15% off everything, all of this. So um, even if it wasn't, you know, one of the colors, because I have my little card, um, I get 15% off crazy crazy and these stores are about two hours away so we went and ate um at the barbecue place which is like an hour and a half and then it's like another 30 minutes into oklahoma city where these stores are so um this is a romper like i said i pick i'm picking up rompers because i get a lot of asks for them this color on this one is pretty um especially if you're like really tan but it is forever 21 it's new with tag um, and it's a great size. I should just leave these on, right? 
Um, it is a size large and it was $2.98. $2.98. Retail on it was $27.99, but it is so pretty. It's got all this like crocheted lace, v neck, and in the back, this is weird. I don't understand this. It's got a little snap right there. Why? I don't know. Um, but yeah, and it is a romper, so short. I definitely grabbed that. Um, all right. <laughs> okay, again, I like to pick up t-shirts that you can wear with skirts and things. This has literally not a single, you know, tag on it, nothing printed. It was $1.98, and it's just a Wyoming, um, Jackson Hole, Wyoming shirt. Very cute. I think, like I said, I like picking up t-shirts. Uh, okay, if you guys know this brand, you will be shocked. Uh, also, this already looked kind of like it needed to be ironed, but now it really looks like it needs to be ironed. Anyway, it's a little, like, crop tank top. It is a size small. I paid $3.98 for it, and the brand is Sink Asset. Think a set. And if you guys don't know this brand, it retails for a lot of money, especially their dresses. Um, like I said, this is just a cute little crop top. The back of it ties and it does have smocking back here. Um, yeah, $3.98. I was like, yes, get in my cart. So it's just an almost like an off the shoulder. So this goes here and then this ties here. So crazy. That's crazy. And then right by that was this cutie. What size is she? She's a small, um, but she is Alice and Olivia. Probably the same person, maybe. The same person, I'm guessing, donated this. And it is a tank top, like a um, stretchy orange <sighs> zip up the back tank top. It's got, you know, the rubber here that helps keep it up. Um, but yes, $3.98. I will probably look up comps on that and um, list it on Poshmark, I'm guessing. And the Sink a, Sink a Sep. Sink a Sep. I believe that's a French brand. <laughs> but those will probably get listed more than likely. And I'm okay with, you know, I don't have to get huge amounts for that like that tube top even if I sold that tube top for say $30 I'm more than happy um, with that okay I'm trying for stuff not to avalanche onto the ground okay this was $4.98 um, it's the green tag so it was not on sale but it is Billa and it is an extra large Yeah, it's an extra large, and I have sold a shirt with this print by Billa, um, but I have not sold this dress. It's got, like, the scarf hemline on it uh, down at the bottom, and yeah, it's a great size. It is a great size. It um, has ruching around the waist, and again, it's a, it's a 2X, and what did I say? $4.98? Like, Yes, get in my cart. Uh, okay. So this was um, this was the blouse that got me hit on. If you haven't seen, if you haven't watched the like vlog of this day, you, I think I told the story. But anyway, I when we first got to this store, I went to the dresses. And I, and literally the whole wall, like the whole length of this wall was dresses. There was a million of them. And I just saw the floral. I grabbed this. I pulled it out and was looking at it. And I heard someone say, that's really pretty. And I turned around and I was like, oh, thank you. You know, and I put it in my cart. And then um, I hear <laughs> now this person is next to me and he said, hello. And I turned and I said, hi. And he said, you're very pretty. And I said, thank you. And I just turned back around. He's also younger, like 
And um, he said, can I get your telephone number? And I was like, oh. I said, I'm Mary. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, that's fine. He was very respectful. But um, I don't know the last time that I was like hit on, like hit on. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit, I told Tom, I said, hey, I might get a call later. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm just kidding. I did not give this man my telephone number, but yeah. So anyway, this is the dress and it is the brand Christina or Chris, what's it called? Yeah, Christina. It is a large and it was $4.98, but it's the, this is what they consider orange. So this orange tag, so it was half off. So it was $2.50 and this floral, this is like um, in the material. The floral is in the material. The back is floral, um, the sleeves, and then it has the, um, how cute, these little tassels with the beads on it. So there's that. Make sure that my thing is still working here. Yes. Come on. Come on. We came inside just to do that. All right, this is the dress that if you watched my haul, my other haul, um, where I have on this exact same outfit because I'm doing two videos uh, on the same day, but two different days worth of thrifting. This is the skirt that I thought would look so cute with the, t with the blouse. And this is locked. Um, it was a dollar ninety eight. It's crazy. It is an extra small, um, and it does have a zipper on the side, and it is this like tiered broom skirt. But let's see if that shirt is. No, it's not. It's going to be. Hold on. Ah! Oh, I'm going to grab it. Hold on. Okay. Well, I'm all about. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> black and black. I love um, black color. Probably my favorite color. But look how cute. This little top, like off the shoulder, little top, <clears throat> kind of crop with this skirt. Oh, my gosh. How? Probably can't see the whole thing, but how cute. How cute. With like a turquoise belt. Stop it. Yeah. Ah, uh, so cute. Okay, anyway, so those will both be in the Boho Rodeo. I'm probably gonna put that outfit on the mannequin um, and uh, make an outfit out of it, kind of show how I would style it. And a lot of times, not necessarily this dress. This is a free people dress. Um, but a lot of times I will do, I will style the mannequins for the main reason, purpose of people can see how to put the actual, out, like an outfit together that I see when I'm out thrifting and I'm like that, I think would look cute with that. And a lot of people can't necessarily see, like, I love that shirt, but I don't know how I would wear it. And by putting it on my mannequin when I'm doing my live shows, it really, you know, gives people an idea of, okay, uh, and the interest that it um, brings where people are like, I want the um, outfit on the mannequin. Like, can you run that? So I get asked that a lot. I get asked about the mannequin a lot. Let me say that. All right. Tom found this and this is crazy. So this is a spree. And if you are a child of the 80s, you know a spree and how big um, a spree was. And this is a goose down um, vest with a hood. And he was like, do you think this is worth anything? And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I think mainly because it's the middle of the summer. Um, but it was a yellow tag, which was 75% off. And they were asking $3.98 for this. So minus 75%. So I was like, yeah, we're going to get that. I don't know. I think it'll sell. Maybe not um, immediately, but definitely um, at some point. Um, okay. Again, just a fun t-shirt 
that um, this was yellow, so 75% off of $1.98. And it just says, in a world where um, you can be anything, be kind. And then I just noticed on the back it has this N, which I have no idea if you guys know what that means. Hopefully, I don't know what that means. So hopefully it doesn't mean anything. It's got, I don't know. But anyway, and it's a good size. I think it's an extra large. Um, I saw this and I was like, all right, I have to get this because Tom loves Ted Drews. You guys know Ted Drews. Uh, we stopped there when we were in St. Louis and it's like home of the, um, they do frozen custard, but when they serve it to you, they hand it to you upside down to like show you how thick the custard is. And it's been around since 1929. It's um, based in St. Louis and this is a size medium. Uh, and then it also has the Route 66 patch um, on it. So it's obviously a Route 66 uh, landmark. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but yeah, it, I was like, yeah, someone, I probably will list that, uh, as in lists on Poshmark. All right. And then I just saw the little animals on this. This shirt is so soft and I think this shirt is staying with me. Uh, again, it was a yellow tag, $1.98. So 75% off. And it, um, is called higher animal brewing. So everything that I love, animals and um, breweries, how cute is this? And it's green. And yeah, that's probably staying with me. Probably staying with me. Um, okay. This shirt, you can't see. <laughs> that's going to be a dirty Santa gift <laughs> for one of my girlfriends. Oh, it's good, though. Okay, this again, yellow tag, um, and it was a medium, but I would not have gotten this had it not been 75% off, but it's Magnolia in Waco, so you guys know um, the Magnolia store, um, what is her name, Gaines, Joanna Gaines, Joanna Gaines, and so I grabbed it, but very cute, right, to wear with your skirts or your shorts or whatever. Uh, okay, just a couple more pieces. Thanks for sticking with me if you're still here. Uh, all right, this is a romper, but it was so cute. Um, $3.98. It is, um, uh, what's it called? Piece. Patrons of, patrons of piece. It's a size small. I wish it was a bigger size, but it's not. Um, I love the colors on it, these dark. Uh, this dark maroon, it's floral. It does have like the little um, stuff hanging off the at the bottom of the wide leg. It's smocked in the back. Also, it's open, so you tie it. Have the little bow here, um, but, and it does have pockets, doesn't it? Yes, and it does have pockets. So yes, I thought this was adorable. $3.98, definitely a good pickup. This I thought was gorgeous. It was $1.98. $1.98. It's by, um, is it Boohoo? Boohoo. <laughs> anyway, it's a size 8. And look how pretty this little teddy or little, um, what do you call this? There. You guys know what I'm talking about. Why can I not think of the name of these? Anyway, um, yeah, all lace. Um, it's got that nude lining in it. Um, the gusset is in great condition and bodysuit. Bodysuit. Yeah, so, so cute. I'm going to try that on for sure. That would be so pretty under just like a, a oversized blazer um, and some like wide leg pants. Oh my God, so pretty. And all right, a couple more pieces. I'll say that. Let me see. Yeah, just a couple more. And then there's the receipt. Okay, I picked this up. It is a smaller size, but I thought it was cute. It is a PBR um, bull rider, professional bull rider, and it has a dream catcher on it. Um, black little v-neck top. 
and it was $1.98. It was not on sale, but I did grab it, because of course, it goes with the Western theme. And then also with the Western theme, this was $1.98. It was not on sale. Um, it is smaller, smaller as in not like a large or extra large. Um, but it says, Cowboy Take Me Away. And I loved the little print on it. So it's got the cowboy um, with the cowgirl like leaning her back. Anyway, so cute. I thought it was cute. All right. What is this? Oh, this is a dress that I couldn't decide on. And it was $4.98. Um, and the brand on it is, is it Hoppa? Hold on. No, Storia. I grabbed it because it is Storia. And I have sold some really cute, um, like, ruffled skirts by Storia. And so I don't know what this retailed for, but I thought it was adorable. So it's got the little ruffle. These are... Um, have elastic in them and then uh, it's got the ruching in the front this is all smocked the front and the back is smocked and the small um, floral and then it is high low and it's lined and I think this would be gorgeous with cowboy boots hold that up oh my god that would be so cute just so cute with cowboy boots um, so I did grab that, and then the last thing uh, that I grabbed, this was also $4.98, so that was the thing, like the most, I didn't really see like $6.98 dresses at this store, but at the one literally across the street, their prices were higher, I'm not sure why, it's weird, um, but this is Billa, um, this is a medium, and uh, basically kind of the same style as that other I've already showed you. It's got that scarf hem on it, but I just the prints on these um, pieces, their tops, very pretty. So it has the smocked waist and um, the v-neck, sleeveless, very pretty. And here's my receipt. Like I said, I think I spent $51 at this Come on, that's what I get for pulling my glasses on and off. Um, yeah, $51.28 for all of those pieces. So all together, um, like I said, it's a little over hundred, maybe $120 for everything. Um, I do, if you don't mind, <laughs> if you're still here, I want to show you uh, three purses that I got. These actually, one um, I got at the local thrift store here. And then the other two came in the mail today. I purchased them off of Whatnot. And so let me show you these these real quick. Uh, I, this is all leather and this thing is old. I can tell it's old. It's almost like a little tote, but it looked Western-y to me. Like this is all, um, yeah, stitched. I don't know. There's the bottom of it, but I thought it was really cute. Very pretty. So I grabbed that for hardly anything. It does have little snaps, um, like magnetic snaps here. Oh, I got this at, at Salvation Army. That's what it was. They had last Saturday for $4.99, and actually it was half off, so $2.50. Um, last Saturday, our Salvation Army had everything half price. Everything in the store was half price. And then uh, this was from a whatnot seller. Let's see if I can tell you their name. Yeah. Nope. Did she put it on here? Hold on. Her name's Marie. Thrifty Three. Thrifty Three is the name, like spelled out. Thrifty and Three. Um, and uh, she had some really cute boho stuff so i just happened onto her show and this is a faux leather little um fringed purse very very cute and so i grabbed that and then i also grabbed this faux this is montana west and i loved this so this is a little crossbody 
Um, of course, it's new with tag. Retail on this is $50. And it also, what I love is that it has one of the um, little wristlets. So you can attach that here, which is how I would carry this. And it's like a faux tooled leather and all this um, like stitching on it. And yeah, so very pretty inside of it. Just really cute, really cute. So small, it's not huge. Here's the Montana West tag. And so I did get these off of, um, off of Whatnot and they came yesterday. So I will probably sell these in my Boho Rodeo show, um, but the starts will be higher on them. Uh, anyway, but that is it, you guys. That's the haul from our road trip barbecue and uh, thrifting barbecue and thrifting barbecue and sourcing <laughs> trip that we took. Uh, let me know if you had any favorite piece or how you think I did. I think I did pretty good. Uh, and if you're interested in buying any of these pieces, check out my whatnot show. I do whatnot shows on Sunday mornings at 10.07 Central Time. Um, and I usually do one during the week, typically on a Friday. But if you check out my uh, profile on Whatnot, you'll see when my shows are scheduled. So, um, and if there's anything you're really interested in, I, if I haven't sold it yet, drop it in the comments and I'm happy to uh, do like, uh, you know, PayPal, Vindo, Vindo? <laughs> Venmo. That's a cross between Vindu and Venmo. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a like or a thumbs up, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you. All right. Yeah, no line. That's a good sign. There's the smokehouse.